I'm enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. Go out and get you some white friends. Get you some white motherfucking friends. You ain't got to sleep with them, but you gonna need them motherfuckers. If you go to jail and call your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did. <laughs> they had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? Why the fuck you ain't call me? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? <laughs> murder, murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. <laughs> Gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at three o'clock in the morning with the wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just, Brrr. hello? No, I'm sorry, no Shaquita here. <laughs> well, what number did you dial? No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. We'll... Gotta love white people. It's thanks to white people we know anything about wild animals. You realize that niggas have never in the history of niggerdom discovered a wild animal. Not one, not a wild pit bull, nothing. Because we too cautious. Niggas don't discover shit. We don't get close enough to discover. Niggas take no chances. That what nigga, is that a Rottweiler or a bear? Nigga, go, go, no, go, fuck that, go. go. White people, though, let me say this. Y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever. That'll fuck the relationship up. There's my nigga friend. You guys say it all the time. What? White people, you need your nigga friends so they can tell you when shit is not appropriate. First of all, white people, please stop putting them little blue leashes on your children. Please stop doing that. That is only entertainment for niggas. That's all that is. We be excited that the motherfuckers look at him, look at him. That's why white kids grow up and kill everybody in the goddamn school, because you done treated them like a German shepherd ever since they were three. They be in the store like, oh, I want them. Look at all the drug dealers. <laughs> Just saying, live your motherfucking life. You gotta get your motherfucking hustle. Understand niggas is gonna hate you regardless. Get that out of your head, that fantasy world where niggas ain't hating on you. You gotta be grateful, you need haters. What the fuck is you complaining about? What the fuck do you think a hater's job is? To fucking hate, so let them motherfuckers do their goddamn job. What the fuck is you complaining about? Ladies, if you got 14 women hating on you, you need to figure out how the fuck to get to 16 before the summer get here. The fuck is you mad about? Fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you complaining about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. Sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is, bitch. Get set, get set. I'm enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. Go out and get you some white friends. Get you some white motherfucking friends. You ain't got to sleep with them, but you gonna need them motherfuckers. If you go to jail and call your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did. <laughs> they had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? Why the fuck you ain't call me? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? <laughs> Murder, murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. <laughs> Gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at three o'clock in the morning with the wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just, Brrr. hello? No, I'm sorry, no Shaquita here. <laughs> well, what number did you dial? No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. We'll... Gotta love white people. It's thanks to white people we know anything about wild animals. You realize that niggas have never in the history of niggerdom discovered a wild animal. Not one, not a wild pit bull, nothing. Because we too cautious. Niggas don't discover shit. We don't get close enough to discover. Niggas take no chances. That what nigga, is that a Rottweiler or a bear? Nigga, go, go, no, go, fuck that, go. go. White people, though, let me say this. Y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever. 
that'll fuck the relationship up. There's my nigger friend. You guys say it all the time. What? White people, you need your nigger friends so they can tell you when shit is not appropriate. First of all, white people, please stop putting them little blue leashes on your children. Please stop doing that. That is only entertainment for niggas. That's all that is. We be excited then the motherfuckers look at him. Look. That's why white kids grow up and kill everybody in the goddamn school because you done treated them like a German shepherd ever since they were three. They be in the store like, oh, I want them. Look at niggas laughing like we know what the fuck to do with our kids. We don't know what the fuck to do with our kids neither. Look, I know all comics come on stage and say you need to beat your kids, but as a father, let me just say publicly, maybe we should stop beating our kids. We are tired of going to the grocery store to see you beat your motherfucking babies. Maybe your baby ain't bad, bitch. Maybe you's a bad mother. Did you ever think of that, you retarded motherfucker? That is a toddler. Your baby's supposed to like Skittles, you ignorant bitch. As soon as your baby touched the Skittles, you what the fuck did I tell your mother? What did I say in the car, bitch? What did I say in the motherfucking car? White people be like, you can't do that, bitch. You're next. What the fuck? Gotta love white people. Gotta fucking love them, but white people, your nigga friends, they can help you. Where my Spanish people at? Where the Spanish people? We got to thank all 17 of y'all for coming. We appreciate that. I know most of you motherfuckers rode together. Y'all motherfuckers are efficient. You ever seen them come to a club? It'd be 39 of them motherfuckers in the same car. Just But you need your Spanish friends. Don't nobody party like them motherfuckers. Nobody in the world party like them motherfuckers. Cause they don't need shit that niggas need. They don't need invitations or streamers or balloons or nothing. Them motherfuckers only need a front yard and some motherfucking Corona and them motherfuckers. <laughs> niggas can't even go to their parties cause they don't never end. <laughs> Fuck you have a party last three and a half motherfucking months. Just got niggas in there hostage. Just I want to go home, nigga. This is... <laughs> Spanish people, you got to get you some nigga friends, too, so they can tell you when shit is not appropriate. We are tired of going to the laundromat to see you in there. Your baby girl is all of seven years old. This bitch has on a wedding dress and soccer shoes. Where the fuck is she going? Is she marrying Bleach? This bitch... Spanish people is if you are pushing a stroller through the mall and your child's feet can touch the ground out the stroller, let little S.A. walk then. This motherfucker 13 goddamn years old with a cigarette and a sidekick. Push it faster, S.A.
All I'm saying is life is too short for racism. We all got motherfucking problems, but we can learn. We can learn. Just niggas, just fuck that. Just don't try to do everything with your white friends. Don't get drunk with your white friends. Can't do it. Can't fucking do it. They don't drink like niggas. Niggas, we are very consistent. If a nigga drink Hennessy, that's what the fuck that nigga drank. That's what he drank. Hennessy. You ain't got to keep asking. That's what he drink on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, his birthday, Jesus' birthday, Hennessy. If they don't have Hennessy, he will take Remy as a backup. That's as far as it goes. White people don't care what they drink. All they care about is what they said when they was leaving the house. Tonight, we're getting fucked up. they care about them motherfuckers and you gotta be careful niggas cause they tricky white people like to buy the drink as a nigga we are not prepared to turn down a free goddamn drink we don't give a fuck what it is like this is unleaded that's spicy than a motherfucker nigga I like that I had to find out the hard way I'm drinking with some white people they buying me these goddamn drinks and shit was delicious it was called Zambuki and I should have known that don't even sound like no shit a nigga should be drinking any goddamn way sound like one of my African cousins or some shit but the shit was delicious but it was coffee and alcohol together I was knocking them bitches back it wasn't until I got fucked up that I realized that maybe <laughs> maybe this is not the right combination of shit for a nigga to be fucked up on cause now I'm fucked up I'm at the house and nigga is fucked up but I can't pass out I'm just in the house nigga I am fucked up no I'm cool nigga I'm cool nigga I'm cool fuck that let's get the day started we gotta start having fun like white people have fun though we be thinking white people can't dance white people be too fucked up to dance that's how niggas used to do remember we used to go to the club and have fun and shit Nigga used to go and have fun. We can't have fun now. Niggas just in the club watching other niggas and shit. Just waiting on some shit to pop off. Get real high and go to the club next time. Because that fucking in your system will help you out. Just go in the club.